Hello everyone, this is HHT back with another deck review, and today we're looking at the Platinum and Gold Wannington's number one plastic decks. So let's have a look at these holographic plastic decks. I got one review, one more review here of the Wannington's decks. These are actually plastic decks. I'm just curious about something. Well, they're slightly bigger, at least in the tough case, than their other woods decks. You can kind of see. I just noticed that. But anyways, <laughs> um, this, is, this is the last Wannington's deck review I currently have planned. I am still expecting one more deck. But I don't know where that is. But it'll probably be after this one. If and when I get it. Hopefully I still get it. But stay tuned for that. But these are the Platinum and Gold Dexter Plastic. Wannington's of London number one playing cards. 100% plastic the seal and it's got a holographic tuck case holographic foil which is pretty nice platinum is silver fyi superior quality playing cards number one on the sides like the other decks seal wraps right around the top add copy on the bottom these are from 2018 and they are printed in china and in the, the backs just the add copy fun stuff on the flap of this one, it says Heart of Gold. Very fitting. They always put these cute things on the flaps. This one says from number one to PT999. Guessing that's platinum something. What it means. We get to the cards. It's inside again, add card. Some of the games. And then get to the cards. They are. Very plasticky and shiny, and just the same joke as the other decks. The back design is disappointing, it just says Wellington's of London number one, but I guess it's fine, it's pretty shiny. And there's the other Joker, here's the spades, same as the other decks, it's standard Wellington's pip, but it's colorful. And then you get it there, you get the rest of the cards. Look at the uh, the pip, the, like the dimension in the pip. It's pretty interesting. Very nice. Old cards are the same as all of the decks, except that they're golden. <laughs> mm. That if they don't feel like your stereotypical plastic decks necessarily. your number cards I will say as well the, the backs you can actually feel some of this texture that's kind of interesting look at the other one and of course it's silver or platinum you get the same ad card I'm running out of battery, but I don't have enough. <laughs> and the cards are the same, except they're silver or platinum. And yes, the back design is the same as the other one. Kind of disappointing. The Ace of Spades, very nice. The colors seem to pop a little bit more on the silver than they do on the gold, but it's the same colors, as far as I can tell. Port cards. Of course, the cards have a plastic stock. Not the smoothest finish, like I said, you can feel some of the texture on the backs and maybe even on the faces. But they're very shiny and sexy, I guess. I do feel like if you leave these sitting there for too long, they might stick together, but I could be wrong. And that is that. Again, plastic stock. They're very flexible and easy to shuffle, but they don't exactly fan <laughs> as you might expect. So yeah, that is that. I'm not going to weigh them because they're just standard, you know, plastic decks. They are bridge sized. I didn't mention that before. And of course, they have four indexes, like most other decks in the UK. 
And that is that. You can get these on eBay. That's why I got them, or perhaps elsewhere online. And yeah, it's the Golden Platinum Plastic Dex. Can't wait to subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.